All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to change rollover colors in the Wix blog as well as a few other settings. Um, first, you need to get to your blog pages to make the changes. So to get there, click on this little blog icon here. It looks like a pen tip. Um, and then you can click on blog pages and click on either the news or the post. Um, the news is all your blog posts. It's kind of the main blog page. And the post is the individual page template for each individual post. Um, this one is kind of an overall editing because you can't edit the um, individual posts here. I mean, you can, but this is not where you do that. This is just to edit this page in general. So um, let's go to the first thing. So once I'm on this page, I click on this and you'll see this little uh, manage posts and settings show up. Click on settings and then come over here to display. Um, this is where you can adjust things like if you wanted to show an author name, if you want to show reading time, um, all these different options, likes counter, views counter. Um, I usually turn them all off and keep it pretty simple. Another part of this is your blog menu. Um, there is by default a login sign up button up in the upper right over here by the search bar. I like to take that off. I don't really want to encourage people, at least in most blogs, um, to engage. Sometimes that just means people start trying to spam the, the blog. So, um, But you're welcome to leave this on if you'd like. Uh, there's also the category labels. I don't use categories too much in blogs either. It just seems to make it a little bit more daunting to write posts and figure out what categories they go into. So I just have a main blog, but you're welcome to turn this on or leave this on if you do add categories to your blog. Um, I do keep the search box on just because why not? Um, that's a good thing for if somebody wants to look something up. Um, but by removing that, you do lose that big chunk of space up here. So you are welcome to turn that off um, to get that post up higher. So that's an option as well. Uh, the next tab is your design tab. And this is where you can come in here and change like the ho hover colors. For example, the font, font color when um, it's clicked or hovered, we want to change that to this. So you can change this to any color in your color palette and you can also add colors, of course. Um, so this is for the font color in the navigation menu. Um, there's multiple ones here. So there's also the post. Um, you can adjust the titles, the subtitles, the paragraphs. You can change fonts, um, sizes, all that kind of stuff here, colors. So that's all here under uh, post. So, and you'll see headings, paragraph, etc. Also, make sure you always scroll down because there's always more stuff hidden down below um, in a lot of these panels. So, make sure to scroll down to see your additional um, information, such as post background color. You can change this to a light beige if you wanted, for example. Go back, let's go to the buttons. This is the same thing. So, if there's buttons in your blog, um, that you can change this so that the text is a certain color and the background is a certain color. Um, so feel free to edit these as well. Post margins, um, that's like the color around the post. So you can also adjust the color of that and also the opacity. Uh, we'll just leaving all that as white. So those are all your main blog um, settings. Uh, let's go back to the news blog page, the main page. So I'm coming here to this pen icon, go to news, and we'll also look at the settings here. So click here. Um, now you can manage posts by editing your actual posts, but this is just kind of overall editing. So again, you can remove things. You can take off the blog menu if you want. Um, you can do kind of anything you'd like um, in this to customize this. Um, the layout, uh, you can also choose different versions of this, which some of these are kind of fun where it's kind of a magazine where it has a, a faded look. Um, this is the one you have selected currently, but there's lots of options here. So feel free to change it um, and you can always change it back down the road. It's uh, not set in stone. Um, you can also decide if you want it to scroll endlessly as it, as it expands your pages or your posts, or you can have pages where it goes from page to page um, to view more posts. You can also adjust the number of posts that show on load. Um, category pages, we don't have any, so uh, but there would be some settings here that you could edit. Um, design is also where we want to go for those hovers. So, I'm going to come up here to preview. When I roll over this, it's uh, the text changes to that gray. So if I want to change what that color looks like, 
then you would come here, click on settings, go to design, go to blog menu, and here you have that um, font color uh, for hover. Posts, you can also do the same thing. You can change the color on, on hover. So these are all these different, uh, this is the post feed. And there's also the buttons. So all of that stuff is also editable here. So if you change it in one place, make sure you also change it on the individual blog page because they are different settings um, for the main blog page and your individual posts. Um, so those are all my major suggestions and tips for editing your new Wix blog. Um, always hit publish when you're done making any changes to save those changes. And then you're done and good to go.